build some handcrafted wooden canoe paddles with Philip Green of Woodsong Canoes. Sure you do it right or you goof it up. Okay. After selecting a design and style for his paddle, Philip uses a custom press to laminate his paddle shaft. Everything is meticulously planned with an eye for detail. Once the shaft comes out of the press, the edges are cleaned up, and it's time to move on to the grip. Philip uses a dedicated palm grip on all of his canoe paddles. Each grip is hand shaped and sanded. Blades are then glued to the shaft and edge banded with epoxy. He's down here, come with the glue, so I'll squeeze it out, scoop it out, and then check right there. Is that good enough? Once the edge banding on the blades is cleaned up, it's time to move on to shaping the shaft. Philip rough shapes each paddle shaft using a rasp before moving on to sandpaper for the final shape. With the grip and the shaft shaped, it's time to move our focus to the blade. Philip uses a variety of techniques to shape the blade, starting with the bandsaw and moving from power sanding to hand sanding and double checking everything with digital calipers. Once he's happy with the rough shape of the blade, it's time to add the fiberglass tip. After a little bit of time at the belt sander, Philip is honing in on the final blade shape. Thirty years of experience and a light touch allow Philip to find the perfect balance of weight and strength. hand sanding some of the fine details before Philip moves on to the next step, signing the paddle.
every paddle that comes out of the shop is hand signed by the artist, including details on style and design. A sheet of fiberglass is added to both sides of the blade, giving it strength and durability. Look at that western red cedar shine. Once the epoxy on the blade has ample time to cure, it's time to move on to the shaft. Now that the epoxy is cured on both the blade and shaft, it's time to ferret flat and get ready for finish. I, I love doing it. Philip will now mount the paddle onto a jig in preparation for clear coat. It's all in the details, baby. After spending three days with Philip and his shop, I was shown that there is a method to everything. Every part of the process has its purpose, and every part of the process is important. Why hello there, little buddy. Once the paddle has been clear coated and comes out of the jig, it's time to move on to wet sanding. This is a two-stage process starting at 800 grit and then moving up to 1500. The final stage of the process is polishing, starting with a medium grit compound before moving on to the fine. That is one happy craftsman. Contact Philip Green of Woodsong Canoes to set up a paddle making experience for yourself or to purchase one of his handcrafted fine wooden paddles.